And I saw earlier today that Caleb Driggers announced Cuervo's retirement. The Team Rope and Journal came out with an article. We have a couple quotes from Caleb, but this is the horse that helped him win his first gold buckle in 2021 and then his second gold buckle in 2022. The horse has battled a deep uh, flexor injury on and off since before Driggers bought him. And it's actually a pretty interesting story because Driggers tried the horse. He said it was an instant match. He loved everything about him. He was excited to buy him. But then the dreaded vet check that didn't go in his favor. So he sent him back, tried more horses. Nothing fit like this one did. He said he would try horses as much as five times as much money as Cuervo was. And nothing came close to the way he felt. And finally, Caleb's wife said, just buy him. You love everything about him. If something happens, it just does. But all you can talk about is that bay horse. And so uh, Driggers will allow Cuervo to retire with Danita Walker at her Texas home where he'll receive full-time care. She's the one who help take care of him and, and uh, keep him going as long as he did. But that's a horse Triggers has had so much success on. Yeah, big thank you to the Team Roping Journal for the great story behind the horse. And here's what Caleb had to say on his social media. Of course, we know it isn't the easiest decision to retire him while he's still able to go, but he gives me his all and he deserves the easy life before he sustains an injury. Definitely some wise words from the world champion. Thank you to everything or thank you for everything you have given me, buddy. Enjoy your retirement, Cuervo. So big thank you to Caleb for that great information and the Team Roping Journal for sharing the backstory, which I think is so interesting to hear. But when it fits, it just fits and you're okay with doing a little extra maintenance on a horse that can do things for you like that.